welcome back to Morg's Menu. So today we're going to be testing out a soup recipe. I am obsessed with fall. I want all of the fall flavored things. I want all of the fall recipes. I want all of the fall clothing. As you can see, I just love fall. I used to think summer was my favorite season, but I've determined, nope, it's fall. I love all things basic fall. So today we're going to be trying out a chicken noodle soup recipe but it has some other ingredients in it that just make it, you know, just bring it up a notch and just make it a little special. So I'm really excited to try it and if you're interested in seeing how all that goes down, keep watching. All right guys, so here's everything that we're going to need for the soup recipe. So we of course have the chicken stock and egg noodles and cooked chicken as well as a ranch packet of seasoning, salt and pepper, cheddar cheese condensed soup, some broccoli, onion, sharp shredder, shredded cheese, bacon, carrot chips, and some milk. So to get us started, we're going to start by cooking up the bacon. So you just take the soup pot that you're going to be working with and throw in a couple pieces of bacon. I used three because they were thick sliced, but you probably want to do four or five for some regular sliced bacon and just let that cook on up. Then we're gonna go ahead and prep up our veggies. So we're gonna dice up about half a white onion. And then go ahead and cut up our broccoli. I have a small head of broccoli here and you're basically just gonna cut it into small little bite-sized pieces by cutting off some of the stem. And then we're gonna go ahead and dice up our carrots. These are carrot chips that we just already had because we use them for snacking a lot, but you could of course just use a regular carrot and dice it up. As long as it's in sm small pieces, that's all you need. Once your bacon is done cooking, you can go ahead and remove it from the pot and just kind of set it on the side to strain out some of the extra grease. And then using the bacon fat that was cooked off the bacon, we're going to cook up our veggies. So we'll first throw in our onion and let that cook for about three to four minutes. And then throw in our carrots and broccoli and cooked chicken. Now we're gonna start with the remaining kind of liquid ingredients. So we have our chicken stock. I think chicken stock has a lot more flavor, so I definitely recommend that over broth. Then we threw in our milk and now the ranch seasoning and the condensed cheddar cheese soup. Lastly, we're gonna throw in our salt and pepper. And then just stir everything so everything gets nice and combined. Then you're gonna let that simmer for a couple minutes and throw in your bacon that I just chopped up into little small pieces. So now you're gonna let this simmer for about really anywhere from 20 to like 30 to 35 minutes. The longer that you let it kind of simmer down, the better the ingredients are gonna combine together and have a lot of flavor. So the longer the better, but you could probably do as little as 20 minutes and it would still turn out okay. Um, it, basically you're gonna have it at a really low boil simmering and just stir it every once in a while, making sure everything is good to go. And I missed filming this part, but with about five minutes left, go ahead and throw in your egg noodles so that they will soften up. If you're using any different kind of noodle, you might want to increase this cooking time. And then you're just going to get everything stirred in. After about three to four minutes, go ahead and throw in the shredded cheese and stir it to combine, making sure the cheese melts and gets combined with all the other ingredients. The ingredients ended up making about three big servings. 
of this soup so it was good for two people plus some leftovers it was about 550 calories so really not too bad because um, this was all we really needed to fill us up for dinner all right guys and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it this soup turned out amazing i seriously wanted to eat the whole pot myself i'm so glad it made some leftovers so that i can eat it again tomorrow not even joking, if you haven't already gotten the recipe from down below and written down all the ingredients and add them to your grocery list, do it now. It was so good and so worth it and I just want to eat it every day now. It's, it's literally so delicious. So highly, 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 highly recommend that. Um, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration for some nice fall recipes for the upcoming cooler months. But as always, if you have any questions on anything with the recipe, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. And ring that notification bell so you're notified when I upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks for watching Morgs Menu. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.